Hi, I'm Luca Congedo and in this tutorial we are going to see how to download products using the SAP tools. From this button here we can access the download products tab. Also from the SAP menu we can access the same tool here from the download products item. So if we click we can open this window of the SAP download products and we can see the interface. So first we have the search parameters and the product list where the found products will be listed and the download options which allow for selecting single bands. The products available in SAP are uh, basically the harmonized Landsat and Sentinel-2 uh, by NASA which are the surface reflectance of Landsat 8 and 9 and Sentinel-2 harmonized, a very interesting product. We also have the Copernicus Sentinel-2 products with the 10 meters bands and other products will be added with the future updates. So we can uh, set the area of interest with these uh, parameters here, the upper left and the lower right point. We can manually set these coordinates or set directly the coordinates in the map. So as you can see, the QGIS layers are empty. We can add with this button uh, an OpenStreetMap layer where we can, uh, uh, for instance, select uh, the area of interest. We can zoom over our area of interest. Here, for instance, I'm zooming over the north of Italy. And once we have uh, zoomed to our area of interest, we can use this button here to set the area of interest in the map. So we click this button, then with a left click in the map, we set the upper left point, and the right click in the map, we set the lower right point. As you can see, the area is uh, highlighted in orange. We can show or hide this area in the map. And as you can see, the coordinates of the area are automatically entered in the parameters. Then we select the product of interest. We can, for instance, select Sentinel-2. And we can also set the date of interest, so a range of dates. So for instance, we can set uh, this date, 2022. And we can also set the range of dates for the final period to 2023, for instance. We can also set the maximum cloud cover. For instance, we can set 60% uh, of the image. So the products will be filtered according to cloud cover. We can also set the maximum uh, number of results in the product list. We can uh, increase or decrease this number. So for a quick research, we can, for instance, set uh, uh, 10 results. Uh, there is also a parameter for advanced search where we can set additional parameters, uh, uh, for instance, the name of the image. And then we can click Find uh, with this button to start the search of the products. As you can see, after we click, uh, the uh, progress bar starts in the background. And as you can see, the progress of the search. And after a few seconds, we can see here the results of the search. Here, the list of products we can see in this table. If we click uh, any of these products, we should see also a preview here on the right. We have here several fields, uh, for instance, the image name, uh, the acquisition date that we can see here in this column. Also, we have the cloud cover here. And the zone path, of course, it depends on the product. We also have other parameters, such as the minimum and maximum latitude and longitude. So we have here uh, our list of Sentinel-2 products. We click another item in the list. We can see the preview here on the right. We can also display a preview in the map using this button here. And the preview is uh, automatically loaded in the QGIS layers and displayed. As you can see here, a new layer was added. This is a temporary layer and of course uh, it's just a preview. You can see very low resolution. 
and it is just useful to uh, understand if the image is uh, uh, what we are looking for and if for instance there is cloud cover and we'll see that previews are also convenient to uh, select uh, uh, the download products so we can add as many preview as we like in the QGIS layers as you can see here this other image we can use this button to remove uh, any item from the list as you can see here this uh, item was removed we can also clear uh, the whole list of products using this button and we can also use this button to import a list of products previously saved and this button to export the table of products to a text file so we can click this button here and save the products for instance uh, sentinel2 uh, search so we are going to save this file that we can load later in the product list so we have saved uh, the product list to file we can for instance clear the table here using this button as you can see here the product list is empty and we can load the previously saved product list using this button we select the sentinel2 search file and as you can see here we have loaded the product list that we previously found and of course we can select any of these items and see the preview here so this is convenient we can also perform additional searches uh, selecting other products from the list so for instance we can select uh, the Landsat from the harmonized Landsat and Sentinel products we can click this button find again and after we click find as you can see here in the table of the product list we can see the new products found the Landsat Harmonized uh, Landsat and Sentinel collection as you can see here so we have uh, added also this product to the list we can click uh, any item to display the preview on the right here as you can see we can also display the preview inside the QGIS map and we can see here this layer we can also add uh, the Sentinel-2 from the Harmonized uh, Lanson Sentinel collection so we can select also the Sentinel-2 from the Harmonized Lanson Sentinel collection we click find and as you can see here also the Sentinel-2 products were added to the list uh, we can see here the preview on the right we can add for instance uh, one image to the QJS map layers here we have uh, all the previews displayed in the map uh, please note that for downloading these uh, images from the harmonized Landsat and Sentinel-2 collection we should also set the login data here in particular we need to register to the collection using this link and after we have uh, an account a free account we can enter here the user and password also we can click this button to remember uh, the user and password in the QGIS settings but of course uh, uh, use it at uh, your own risk as it is uh, stored unencrypted and then we get back to the search tab and we can uh, select uh, single bands we, that we want to download from the images using this uh, checkbox here we can use this button to select and unselect all the uh, bands from for download we can of course uh, uh, check and uncheck uh, single bands so of course the number is referred to the product that we are going to download then we have also this option only if previewing layers if we unselect this uh, checkbox we are going to download a uh, whole the products in the product list so uh, all these uh, images will be uh, downloaded and if we uh, instead check this option 
uh, we are going to download only the previews that are loaded in QGIS layers. So only these images will be uh, downloaded. So this could be quite convenient if we want to download only a limited amount of images in the product list. Then there is this checkbox preprocess images. Uh, this checkbox, if we uh, check this option, we are going to link the downloaded products to the image conversion here in the preprocessing, the image conversion tool, and basically every single image that will be downloaded from the product list will be also processed in the image conversion using these uh, options that we are going to set in the interface. So basically we can set, for instance, the atmospheric correction and we can also set the automatic creation of a band set. Also, we can uh, set automatically all these options from the band set tools. So basically, if we check the band calc expression, we can automatically perform a calculation from the band calc uh, tool. So for instance, we can uh, enter an expression here that will be performed uh, on every image downloaded from the product list. We can select a, a function, for instance, the uh, normalized difference vegetation index here in DVI. We can double click this function here. And as you can see, this expression, uh, which is referred to the bands of the band set, will be executed uh, for every uh, image downloaded in the product list. So every image will be uh, first downloaded and then preprocessed and then the calculation of the NDVI will be automatically performed because of this option here, create band set and use band set tools active. So uh, coming back to the option band calc expression here, which is active, we are linking the expression uh, as we have uh, set in the band calc tool. We can also uh, enter an additional parameter here, uh, which is the uh, name of the band set to, to the output NDVI. It is string, so basically we are going to add the image name to the uh, output uh, NDVI. Another option is to load the band in QJS. This is optional, and uh, if we uncheck this, uh, the calculation will be uh, only saved to the disk. And finally, there is this option, virtual download, and for uh, some kind of products, uh, will allow to select uh, and download only portion of the image. We have also this button here that allows to uh, save the download links. As you can see here, we have saved uh, only the download links to a CSV file. We can open it. And as you can see, these are the direct links to the single bands that we can use, for instance, in other uh, download managers. So now that we have set our uh, NDVI expression here in the band calc, which refers to the near infrared and red bands of the band set, we can, for instance, uh, select uh, just the bands that we need for the calculation of the NDVI. So as we are going to download both Sentinel-2 and Landsat products, we basically select the red band of both Sentinel-2 and Landsat images. So we need to select the band 4 and band 5 for Landsat images for the red band and the near infrared band. And the band 8 for the infrared band of the Sentinel-2 image. So now we can click Run. As you can see here, the download starts in the background. In the progress bar, we can see the progress of the download. And after a while, as you can see, the products will be downloaded. And automatically, after the download of the products, we'll start also the preprocessing of products, as you can see here. So when the process is finished, we can see here that we have uh, uh, three new band sets. As you can see here, we have the band set with uh, every single image that we have downloaded, the Landsat band, four and five, and also the Sentinel-2 bands, four, five, and eight. And as you can see here, also the date of the acquisition of the image, it can be useful for multi-temporal processing. Also, as you can see, the images were downloaded and we can see the directories of uh, the images and the directories of the processed products.
so uh, the conversion to reflectance, and the NDVI calculation that we have automatically performed using the BandCal tool. As you can see here, the NDVI product. And of course, we can see here in the QGIS map uh, the NDVI calculated for every image that we have downloaded. So basically, we have created an automatic workflow from the download to the processing of products to the calculation of NDVI. And of course, we are going to see in other tutorials how to use uh, these products for uh, classifications. Thank you for watching.